Hello, sweet friends. Do you hate weaving in loose ends as much as I do? Well, then you're in the right place. In this video, I'm gonna show you a trick that I love to use whenever I need to join a new skein of yarn when I'm crocheting a blanket like this one. To make a magic knot, you're gonna take this old strand of yarn that's still attached to your blanket and lay it so that it's pointing downwards, and then grab your new skein of yarn, find the tail, and lay this new strand so that it's pointing upwards. All that really matters here is that these two strands are facing in opposite directions. We are going to make a simple overhand knot, so take your new strand of yarn and go underneath the old strand, and then make a loop. Take this tail and go underneath the loop and pull to tie it around the new strand of yarn with the tail pointing upwards. If you need a little bit of extra yarn, you can slide this knot up so you have room to work. Take the old strand of yarn and this time lay it on top of the new strand and make a loop. And then take the tail and push it down through the loop to tie an overhand knot around the old strand with the tail pointing downwards. Now that you have your two knots, go ahead and pull on both of the strands to slide those two knots together until they are nice and snug. And then right here, I just like to double check that both of the knots are as tight as I can possibly get them. Once you're confident that the knots are super secure, grab a pair of scissors and cut the tails of yarn as close to the knot as you feel comfortable. You can see here that I cut pretty close. When you're all finished, you're going to have the tiniest little knot ever. You can go ahead and give that knot a really good tug just to make sure that it's not going anywhere, but it is so secure, it's almost like magic. And I love how it's barely even noticeable, especially in these types of stitches. And as a little bonus tip, if you can manage to get your knot to land in one of these top two loops here, it is ideal because your next row of crochet stitches will wrap around the knot and hide it completely. To show you what I mean, it might be a little hard to see, but there's the knot, and since it's on one of these top two loops, when I create this single crochet stitch, it wraps around the knot and just totally hides it. It's so cool. By the way, if you're loving this blanket that you've seen in this tutorial, I actually have a free pattern available here on YouTube if you want to make one for yourself. Just check the links below or tap this video that should have just popped up on the screen. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video.